short pants and this i'm going to be making it with one yard of fabric this is not even up to one yard so you could easily do this with any fabric you have at home left so as you can see mine is just like fabric that i used um remaining from something else that i made so for this i'll be using my scissors my tape and then my my chalk sorry so First of all, I'm going to fold this fabric. Let me move these things aside. I'm going to move this fabric this way. So guys, um, I folded the fabric this way. So the, the next thing I have to do for this is to check my hip measurement. So the hip measurement I'm going to be working with is 44. And so I'm just going to check if, for, so the 44, I'm going to divide it by four. So if I divide it by four, that will give me 11. So the next thing I'll do is to check if the 11 can fit in here and then if it can fit in here and then with extra two inches added to it. So that will be like 14 inches. So once I see that it can fit into the width of this fabric, then I'm okay with it. So the length I'm going to be working with on this pant is, uh, I'm going to, so, I'm going to make it uh, 16 16 if it's long if it's too long I can always reduce it oh let me just work with 15 16 is okay okay so I'm going to just mark mark the line for the length of the, the short so this is the top part of the short this is the end of the short so after the line so first you fold your fabric the next thing you check is the length you want to work with so I'm working with 16. The next thing I have to do is my hip divided by 4, which is 11. So that's 44 divided by 4, which is 11. I'm going to mark it down here. I'll mark a line for the 11, all the way 11, 11, and make sure. So this line here, I'm going to, the length of this line is going to be around, since it's going to be high waist, I'll make it 10. Then bigger people will need like since it's high waist, someone that is bigger might need like eleven. Someone that is smaller might need like nine. Because remember, you still attach the band, so all that will still take up space. So I'm going to just work with ten. So the the number that I'm talking about, the ten that I'm talking about, is like the crotch. So so for the crotch, I'm going to be using ten for myself, which is like someone that is large or medium so this i've marked it here so this is basically what i need here as you can see i didn't add any extra inch all the extra inches for my seam allowance will come at the back of the pant so this is the easiest way you can make your short first you fold your fabric check the length you're working with next thing divide your hip by four this way and then make sure that two inches can fit into this your crotch area and then you come down here and mark like 10, 11, or 9, whichever way, uh, whichever number that works for you best is okay. So this is it. I'm going to cut this out right now. As you can see, I didn't go ahead to, I didn't check anything on this waist because it's supposed to have elastic at the back, but it's going to have a band in front. That's the type of pant I'm making. So that's why, as you can see, I didn't use waist measurement here. Because I don't need the waist measurement. So I'm going to cut this out. Cut it out. And then after cutting it here, now you can separate it. So with this front piece that I've cut, as you can see, I have two pieces for the front. This front piece that I've cut now, I'll use it to cut the back piece. So for the back piece, what I have to do is extend my fabric even further. And remember, this is still one almost, is less than a yard that I'm using to make this. So with this, I'll just put the 
the front piece on this fabric move it a little bit this time around make sure that three inches can fit in for the front for someone that has bigger hips maybe two inches or one and a half for your crotch like width wise but for the for the back three inches for everybody like three inches here even you can go beyond three inches but i'm going to use three inches here For someone that is small, 1.5 will be okay for the front crotch and then maybe 3 inches on the door to be okay for the back. So that you have room and the, the pants won't be like too tight around the crotch area. So guys, as you can see, I've made sure to place this very well here. And then now I have to check if 3 inches could fit in here. Yeah, and if you look, you will see that from the end of this front piece of the pants, which is here, to the end of this uh, the back piece here is three inches extra if you want if you feel that the crotch will be okay on you you could easily add like half an inch for your seam allowance so it doesn't take away from the three but since my two is here i don't need to do that back to the three inches here so what i have to do now is i don't know if you could see closely but this is the front so from this front i'm going to mark two inches all the way down so I'm just going to make sure the two is here and then the end is here. So I'm just going to keep marking it two inches all the way to this part here. So from here now, I'm going to connect the lines, right? The reason why I made it two inches is because of the, the side. So these two inches is for the extra, um, the seam allowance. So the seam allowance doesn't come in the front. It comes from the back. So this is one inch on one side, one inch on one, um, one inch on the other side. So that's how you get the extra, the seam allowance that you need. So because you know when you cut the pant, it comes as four pieces, right? So it's like half an inch for each side. So that's why you have two extra inches here. So I'm going to mark this down here and then connect it this way. So now I've gotten the crotch for the back and then from this line here, if you look closely, this is the line and then this is the same line for the front piece. But from this line of the front piece here and the line at the back, I'm going to go up this way and add extra two inches here or maybe 1.5 depending on how big the person's butt is. You could use two, you could use 1.5 and then you mark it here, you mark it here. And then from this line here, this is my front piece. Because the fabric is dark, that's why I keep trying to show you where the front piece is. So this is the front piece. What you have to do now, you don't go straight this way. So the two inches I'm adding at the back is for the extra room for you. For, because the back has the butt there, so it picks up space. But the front doesn't have anything, so that's why it's straight. But from this point here now, you have to make sure that you mark like with a ruler or something. Make the line straight to join to this point here, right? So it doesn't go straight. It goes like almost like an angle. It's going to slant and come down here, right? So that way when you go to join it, the pant is still the same as the, in all the sides, right? The length is the same in all the sides. Because if you go this way, let's say you go straight this way, then when you go to add it, you will find out that the, the, the pant here, like the length of the front is long, is shorter than the, the, the length for the back. So with this now, I'm done cutting. So basically what you do, basically what I explained for the back is fold it to be wider than the front. Add 3 inches to the crotch here. Add 2 inches all the way up here. From here, from the length of this front piece, the front piece, make sure you go 2 inches above or 1 inch, 1.5 inch above. And then from there, mark like an angle to meet the length of your front, the end of your front uh, panel here. The front pattern of your pants here so make sure it goes down and meet that at the point so now i'm just going to cut it so you see what i'm saying so from this point here and then from here you cut down
so this is what I mean. I'm going to separate the side just to finish here. So you see, this is my two back panel, and then this is my two front panel. So what you have to do now is take this front panel, open it up this way. This back panel, I mean, sorry, and then you join it and front side facing each other, join it here. Take your front panel, the same thing is what you will do for it. And then join it together, right? So join this part here and also join this part here. So I'll do mine and come back and show you the rest. So guys, I've gone ahead and done my own stitching. As you can see, this is my front panel. Let me place it this way. This is my front panel, the smaller one, and the wider one is my back panel. So I went ahead and sewed the back piece here. And if you open it up, you see how what it looks like. So this is the back piece of the pant. And then this is my front panel. So what I did here is I sewed the inner part, that's the center. I attached it, and then I also gave it a dart. Since this pant is not going to have a zip, it's better to give it a dart so that it doesn't, when you wear it, it doesn't bulk up by the crotch here. So this dart here makes it fit even better. So now, see how I, I gave the dart is by just pinching out like half an inch of the fabric, maybe four inches apart, four inches here, four inches here, or three inches here, depending on what you want to use. And then you stitch it down, like as you're going down, you narrow it. See how it is here. So you stitch it down even like up to maybe eight inches down and then that is it so the next step now is to take these two pieces and then so guys the next step is to because this pant i want the front to be like smooth with just band and then the back is where i'll have the elastic since my pant is not going to have zip i prefer my pants with elastic so that's why I'm going to give it elastic at the back, band in front. So what I have to do now to make the band is fold like around maybe, uh, let me see, maybe eight inches of fabric. So that that way when I fold it in, I can easily fold it this way. Okay. So around eight inches will be enough for me because I want the band thick. So I'm going to cut around it. So this is the, the piece that I cut out. So what I have to do is just to fold it and make sure that it fits the pan. So this way, and then also this way. Just fold it how, however you want to fold it until it's straight. And then you, you fold it into two, this way. So now as you can see, I've made uh, the band for this the pant. So this band now, I'm going to attach it right here. Okay, mine is even longer than the pants, but what I'm going to do is to put this in and then sandwich it bit. Now that I've folded it into two, right, what I'm going to do is to put this in between, right, inside of it and then pin it down, right, pin it down, go to the sewing machine and then sew it down. So this will be for the uh, front panel. So when I wear it, it doesn't have any... Uh, elastic to it it's just smooth like this you can even tuck it in because it's this way you can tuck in a shirt inside but the back is going to have elastic so i'm going to sew this and come back so guys I've, i also cut a piece of fabric for the back and then added my elastic the piece of fabric i cut here is not the same as the one for the front because this one remember i folded it enough to make it thick but this here is just enough to pass the elastic but also enough for it to be the same length so what i have to do now is just to take this here the front and then the back piece put it this way and make sure the two ends are equal right and then start to uh, sew down here straight line i'll leave this open for for me to pass my elastic right and then the same thing for here basically sew the two sides close right sew the two side close and then sew the two crotch close just hold it here at the center and then sew it here the two crotch here place it together make one and then close up the two sides and then after that 
you might have like maybe half an inch of fabric at the ends like maybe little piece of fabric because everything can be equal all the time so you might just trim it out a little and then but you can't have like more than half an inch if you have more than half an inch maybe you made a mistake so just make sure to place everything equal and then fold the ends of the pant so that's what i'm going to do now as you can see i've gone ahead and attached the sides and then the crotch of this pant and the back i've attached the elastic so you see what i did here i passed the elastic at the loop behind closed up the end and then dragged it up to the other end and then closed it up on this side so that's how i did it and the elastic didn't go to the first the front line is just for the back so when you wear it you see how neat the front is and then the back is where you have the elastic right so this is like the high waisted pants so coming to the end as you can see i've not folded the end what i was saying is that when you are done you might have like you might have like this much of fabric as you can see mine is not equal here right if you look at it closely now you see that i have just tiny bit of cloth left here so but it's not the same on this side this side i don't have it this side is totally equal so what you, this doesn't really matter but when you know you've made a mistake is when you have this much of fabric at, in, as the difference between the front and the back but if you see mine if i fold it well this is what it looks like just a tiny bit of fabric here so you you can easily just snip this out or you can just when you're folding the pants just fold it in and sew it and that's the end so yeah so guys i'm just going to go ahead and fold the end of this pant and then that's all so thank you guys so much for watching and please if you enjoyed the video give it a like and then share subscribe and if you have anything you want to say just drop a comment below and i'll reply you thank you so much for watching bye